In this video, I'm going to show you how to hack any model of the 3DS. This will work on the Japanese models as well as the American models. Okay, first we have to check to see if the 3DS already has custom firmware installed on it. So you're going to hold down the select button and then you're going to power it on and keep holding the select button. Now, if you just go to the normal 3DS screen, that means that you don't have custom firmware installed on it. If you go to a different screen, that means that you do have custom firmware installed on it. And if you already have the custom firmware installed on it, then I wouldn't recommend following the rest of this video because you could potentially break your system. If you boot it into a different menu, I'll leave a link in the description so that way you can figure out where to go from here. Okay, the next thing we want to do is go to settings. As you can see, this is a 3DS from Japan. That's why it has all this Japanese writing on it. Okay, once you're in the settings menu, you wanna read these numbers here. Hopefully yours matches up with mine. Mine ends in J because it's from Japan. If yours is from the United States, it'll end in U. If you don't have these same numbers, you can try updating your 3DS, but that's not absolutely necessary. You should still be able to follow along with the rest of the video. But if you wanna just be safe, you can try updating your 3DS. Okay, the next thing we want to do is get the SD card out. In the new 3DS, it's a micro SD card and you're going to have to unscrew the bottom panel. If you have an old 3DS, you would just have a regular SD card or you would have a micro SD card within an adapter. Now for both the old 3DS and the new 3DS, I recommend going with the 32 gigabyte micro SD card. I would at least have eight gigabytes, but I wouldn't do more than 32 gigabytes because that could potentially slow your console down, but it is possible to go higher than 32 gigabytes. Next, we wanna get an SD card adapter. So you're gonna put your micro SD card in this adapter. Okay, next we're gonna go to this website, 3ds.hacks.guide, and we're gonna go to the Get Started page. I'll leave a link in the description so it's easier for you to find it. We're gonna scroll down here to section three, select a method. Okay, so of course, if you have an old 3DS or 2DS or 3DS XL, you would select this one, but I have a new 3DS, and this includes the new 2DS and the new 3DS XL as well. So I'm gonna click this option. Okay, so remember in the last part I showed you how to get the version number of your console so you're going to just select the options that match up with that mine is 11 17 0 50 and then J and then click confirm now when I first tried to mod this 3ds I first tried to use this super skater hacks zip but I, eventually I ran into an issue. Then I realized right here, it says this exploit is known to be inconsistent. It works for some people, but not others. If you prefer a more consistent exploit, follow MSET 9 instead. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Now I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna select this icon. All right, first we're gonna download MSET 9. Click that. Click here to download MSET 9 V2.1 is the latest edition. So that's the one that I'm gonna go with. I'm going to download it to my downloads folder. Once that's downloaded, open up the downloads folder. Now I'm going to unzip MSET 9. I'm going to right click it and then click extract all. Then click extract. I'm going to delete the original zipped folder. Now I'm going to minimize the downloads folder. Now I'm going to go to Python. I'm going to click download Python. I'm going to download it to my downloads folder once again. Open the downloads folder. I'm gonna double click Python. I'm gonna click install now. now. I'm gonna close out of this. And now I can delete this Python application. I'm gonna minimize downloads folder again. And I'm gonna put the SD card adapter into this other SD card adapter, which has a USB cable that I can then put into my computer. If your computer has an SD card port, then you can just put it right in there. Okay, this is my SD card here. It's USB drive I. All you should have in there at this point is the Nintendo 3DS folder. Now you wanna open up your downloads folder, open up MSET 9, select everything in there, and then drag it over to the root of the micro SD card. X out of MSET 9. Now deselect these files. Double click MSET 9 Windows. Okay, so now you have to read these options here. So mine is a new 3DS and mine is 11.17. So I'm gonna go with number two. So I'm gonna type in number two and then hit enter. I'll type one and hit enter. All right, it says input one again to confirm. So type in one and hit enter again. And now it says, okay, next to created hacked ID one. It says press enter to exit. So press enter. 
Now right click your micro SD card and then eject it. Okay, now we're gonna put the micro SD card back into the 3DS, power it on. Okay, now you wanna go to this me icon here, click that. Now you might get something like this that just says welcome to the me studio or me maker. You may also get a screen that says the data has been saved or created and you might just reach the normal me maker screen. At this point you can just hit the home button and then exit out of that. Go over to system settings, open that up, go to data management. Click the Nintendo 3DS icon. Click software management at the top. Click the right button. Click OK. Click back. Shut off your console. Take the micro SD card out again. All right, we're gonna put the SD card back into the PC. Double click M set nine windows. All right, once again, you're gonna click the number that corresponds with your console. So I'm gonna click number two and then hit enter. Type zero and then hit enter. Eject the micro SD card. All right, put the micro SD card back in your console. Power it on. Now make sure that system settings is selected. Once it's powered on, you shouldn't have had to move it. But if it wasn't there, if it was like over here, for example, put it over on top of system settings, then shut off the console, and then you're going to turn it back on. Press A to launch system settings. Go to data management. Click the Nintendo 3DS icon. Click extra data. Do not press any buttons. Don't touch the screen or anything. Now leave the console on and remove the micro SD card, but be careful not to touch any buttons or the screen. Now it'll say no SD card is inserted. That's expected and that's fine. Once again, we're gonna put the SD card back into the PC. Again, we're gonna double click M set nine windows. Type the number corresponding to your console. So we're going to do number two for mine and then hit enter. Now we want to inject the trigger file. So we're going to click three and then hit enter. Now it says, okay, M set nine successfully injected. Hit enter to exit. Now eject the micro SD card. Now again, be very careful not to touch the screen or press any buttons. Put the micro SD card back in the console. And now you should boot up to this screen. Okay, if you get this screen up here, you're gonna just follow these instructions. But if it's blank up here and you have crypto status as all checks passed, you're still gonna follow these instructions, but you're gonna have to just do what I'm doing because you're not gonna be able to see it on your screen if it's blank, obviously. So you're gonna go left, down, right, up, A. Okay, now all seven steps show as green, so we're gonna hit A to reboot. Okay, once you get to this screen, don't touch anything. All you're gonna do is hit start and it's gonna save and reboot. Okay, now you wanna power off your console. Take the SD card out. We're gonna put the micro SD back into the adapter and put it into your computer. Now we're gonna double click M set nine windows again. Type the number for your console, mine's two, and then hit enter. The current state should say injected up here. Now we're gonna wanna remove the trigger file, so press four and then hit enter. Now up here it says removed trigger file. Now we wanna remove mset nine, so press five and hit enter. Now for some reason I got four of these windows now, so I'm gonna just close out of them.
Now we're gonna install these two different files. First one is xfinalize helper. Download it to your downloads folder. Then install finalize rom fs. Put it in your downloads folder again. Okay, this is my micro SD card over here. Don't put it in any folders, just put it on the root. Open the Luma folder. Now you should have a folder that says payloads. If you don't, create one. You can open that up now and then drag the other file in there. Now you can eject your micro SD card. Now we want to put the micro SD card back into our system. Power it on. Go to the system settings. Then we're going to click this option here. Click this here. Click this again. And click OK. Now we're going to select this bubble. Click this. Click this. Click this. Click this one. Click this. Click the top option. And it should pull up your available Wi-Fi. Type in the password. I'm going to skip this part for obvious reasons. Once your password's typed in, hit enter here. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Okay guys, so I was having trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi and I was playing with all kinds of settings. And what ended up happening was all I had to do was restart the console and now it works. So now I'm just going to hit OK. I'm going to back out. Go to Settings. Go to Other Settings. Go all the way to the right. And we're going to update your system if it's not already updated. Just hit OK. Just keep going. Now mine's already updated, so it's just letting me know here. Click OK. Now we're going to want to press the left bumper, the down button, and select all at the same time. That opens the Rosalina menu. Go down to where it says miscellaneous options. Press A. Go down to dump DSP firmware. It says DSP firm successfully written. Press B to go back. Go up to Nullify User Time Offset. Press A. It says Operation Succeeded. Press B to go back. Press B to return to the Rosalina menu. Press B to exit the Rosalina menu. Now power off your console. Now press and hold X and then turn the console back on. Okay, now you're in God Mode 9. Okay, it might be hard to see, but it says Essential Files Backup Not Found. Create one now. Press A for Yes. Press A to continue. If you're prompted to fix the RTC date and time, press A to do so, then set the date and time, and then press A to continue. But I didn't have to do that, so I'm going to hit Home button. Go down to where it says Scripts. Press A. Press A to finalize. Now just follow the instructions. So now I'm going to hit A. I'm going to hit A again. So now it's telling me what buttons to enter. So I'm going to hit left, down, right, left, A. But for you, it's probably going to give you something different, so make sure you read whatever's on your screen. Now it's going to take me about five minutes for this. Now while this is setting up, I plugged in my power cable because my 3DS is running low on battery, and that's really dangerous during this stage. Okay, now it says setup complete, so we're going to hit A to continue. Now that just shut off the console, so now we're going to remove the micro SD card again. Okay, this is the last time we're going to put the micro SD card back into the PC. Okay, you want to go into GM9 and go into backups. And you're going to select all three of these files. 
you're going to right click it and click copy and then you're going to put them somewhere that you're going to know where they're at make sure they're safe and never lose them never delete them because they're very important if you ever want to revert back to the original firmware on your 3ds if you don't have these you're not going to be able to do that and you're going to end up breaking your system if you try to do it so for now i'm just going to go to my desktop and i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to just put um new 3ds sys nand backups go into the folder and then paste those files okay go back to your micro sd card go back into gm9 go back into backups Okay, you can delete these two files up here, but you're going to leave this essential one that ends in EXEFS. So just right click those and delete it. And that was pretty much the last step. Now we're going to eject the micro SD card and put it back into the 3DS. Put this micro SD card back into the console. Turn it on. Now you should get this pop up here. Click OK. And now you're going to have some icons down here that you're going to unwrap. So just keep hitting that bottom button. Click the next one. Hit that bottom button that says unwrap. Okay, so now you should have all these icons. This one here, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. As you can see, my console's still in Japanese. If you have a 3DS that's in Japanese too, keep an eye out for my upcoming video, which I'll show you how to change it to English. Once I create that video, I'll put a link to it in the description of this video, and then you can follow along with that one as well. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel, guys. I really appreciate it.